Okay, so here I've created Bill. We're going to add Bill. Bye bye, cool sound. Sorry. We're going to pop in Bill. Literally a 128 by 128, 128 gray box. So, public, static, texture, texture, Bill. Come on. Public, static, sprite. Right. Let's just call him Bill. Fuck, fuck's sake. Alright. Uh, so texture Bill. Because new texture. GDX.files. Internal. Bill.punk. Bill equals new sprite. Texture Bill. Alright, so it's all stuff we've done before. Awesome. We don't need that. Let's go back into our game screen. Now what I'm going to add here is a general update method, okay? And this is stuff like, you know, input, uh, but, you know, it's away from our render, you know, stuff. Uh, you can pop this anywhere you want. I'm going to pop this here. Make it a public void because everything else is a public void, you know, logic. Um, so we're going to have a x variable. So int bill x. Okay, and this x variable uh, is just going to track Bill's movement from left to right. So we're going to draw, uh, we'll have x equal to, Bill x equal to even, uh, I don't know, the middle of the screen, which is like 960, minus 64. Uh, but yeah, this will draw him in the middle. Just get the middle of the screen, which is 960, so if you... 120 divided by 2, it's 960. So that's the middle of the, of the width. And then you subtract it by the uh, the by half of your character. Half the display, half the object. Okay? Awesome. Um, so in this general update, if gdx.input dot is key pressed keys dot uh, we're gonna have an A. We're gonna support A. We're also gonna do an OR. And we're going to support the left key as well, because we're cool. And, yeah. That should work. Nice. Else if, same thing, but for the right key and the D key. So D, right, whoops, right. Uh, and we're literally just going to go bill x plus equals... Uh, five. So plus he got no. It should be minus if he's going to the left. It should be minus. We're gonna plus batch dot draw. Uh, we're gonna draw Bill, and we're gonna draw him at Bill X, whatever Bill X is, and his Y will just be like two hundred. All right. So we've drawn Bill. At like 896. Okay, Bill has been drawn at 896. We press left, and that's slowly going down. Now it's like zero because you can. You, we're constantly drawing him at whatever x if Bill x is. Because we're going left, Bill x is being minus by five. If we go right, it's adding. But yeah, it works. Uh, if you notice any lag, that's because I'm recording it. it WGDX is an extremely uh, performance friendly engine, so <laughs> moving a box left and right shouldn't lag. If it lags, you've either got a really awful computer or you're recording. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Awesome. Uh, oh, a concern you might actually have is, uh, okay, well what if I make a game and someone wants to record them playing my game? Uh, I'm recording with Camtasia, everything lags when you're recording with Camtasia, so don't, so don't worry, if they're recording with like Fraps or some shit, you'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, hopefully you enjoyed and learned something from it, and if you did, I would urge you to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a fantastically brilliant day guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial, bye bye.